Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. So I have had this requested of me so, so much. So I am going to be showing y'all how I curl my hair. Curling iron is warming up. This is my curling iron that I use. I can't use the wands because I burn myself literally every single time. Um, but I have nothing better to do right now. And uh, we went on a camping trip and I actually got poison ivy on my face. So I cannot wear any makeup. So <laughs> figured why not just do my hair? Anyways, while we're letting the curling iron uh, heat up, I usually set it to 350, 375. I haven't used any hot tools on my hair in a little bit, so I think it's set to like 375 right now. Um, first, I'm going to use some, what is it called? Oh my gosh, what is this stuff called? Heat protectant. Heat protectant. So I use Matrix Mega Sleek. Um, honestly, my sister is a hairdresser, so she helps out with what would be best on my hair. I'm currently trying to grow my hair out. And I might spray way too much, but it works for me. My hair's been up in that claw clip for most of the day. And also, since I have had poison ivy on my face, specifically my eye, it was really bad, guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my eye was like swollen shut. It was not good. So can't wear any makeup, so I figured might as well curl my hair to have fun and feel like I'm getting ready. <laughs> um, this is just how I curl my hair. Also my bangs, because I had to have my bangs like pushed back for a couple days. They're like sitting all weird. But I just do mine in sections and I always start with the bottom. I will link this curling iron below. I also have like a little rubber mat that I put it on, but I feel like that, I mean, I'll link it, but I feel like it's so easily found. And then this claw clip is from Amazon as well. My brush is a wet brush that I just got from the store. And then this, I did have a hairdresser get this for me. I also do have a texture spray that I'll use at the end, which also I had my sister get for me. Um, so we're going to wait. However, I don't really have like some method to my madness. Um, all I do is I, since my hair is short, I usually just do smaller sections and it just goes. And I don't like my curls to be like, I like to have like about you know, like an inch, inch and a half left at the bottom. But a trick that I have learned is in front of your ears, curl away from your face and behind your ears, you can kind of start rotating, curling the opposite way. So now I'm curling towards my face. I don't know if it's necessarily like beach waves, I would say, just because I feel like, I don't know, beach waves look different with short and long hair. But I will say that whenever I curl my hair, usually, I want to say like about an hour after I curl my hair, that is when I like my hair the most. But I just kind of alternate the direction. Once I get behind my ear and then on the top, I have a different method. I usually curl it all the same way on the top. Um, but I really don't hold it long. I really hope that this lighting is good. But I also have like a lot of straight pieces underneath. So I just try to kind of like tilt my head just because my hair is short and kind of just grab a couple of those pieces. Honestly, I don't really have much of a, a solid method to how I curl my hair. 
Oh, this one kind of fell out. And then I just kind of go back through. I might have just used a little bit too much of that stuff. It is like a sleek one, but it is a hair protectant. I couldn't find another one that wasn't going to leave my hair feeling like really um, greasy. Because that's my problem with heat protectants is that my hair always feels so greasy afterwards. But if you can tell, I'm kind of taking like just like a little bit, like about an inch section at a time. Some, like when I get towards the back, sometimes I'll grab bigger sections. Um, but yeah, I leave a little bit out. And my hair is kind of a little crazy from being in that claw clip all day. And last night I threw it up in a ponytail. I just, I went camping for a couple days. So my hair was pretty much in a beanie the whole time because it was cold and then we got poison ivy and so I just had like my hair back in um, a headband for a couple days just to keep my bangs out of my face because my face was so itchy and so yeah. So yeah, I usually do like just because of how my hair is personally I usually do the first two in front of my ear going that way and then the first one that is kind of behind my ear, I do it towards my face. It's hard to like film, I don't see how people like film hair tutorials and then they just like are able to look at the camera the whole time. I also just popped that off. There it is. It just came a little loose. I've had this curling iron though for a while. I had the same curling iron for Oh my gosh, it was probably like close to five, six years. And it was from Sally's. And whew, that thing lasted. Oops, I want to go the opposite way. But that thing lasted for a long time. However, I really, really like this curling iron. Like I said, I can't use wands. I am not a wand person. I feel like there's two types of people in the world. There's people that prefer wands and there's people that prefer like the kind of traditional I guess barrel style for curling irons and I am just not a wand person so this is what the bottom layer is looking like so far the way I cut my bangs I didn't cut them um exactly right so I'm just gonna kind of I like tore a little bit of my hair out <laughs> um I do have some straight pieces underneath. So like I said, my hair is just so short right now, which I am trying to grow it out currently. Um, that it's, it's hard. It's hard to get like these little under pieces. Um, but that's like what I, when I said, like once like a little bit has gone by, some of the curls have fallen out and they've kind of like loosened up. It's a little bit easier, but I just try to feel or look for the straight pieces. And I don't really care what they look like underneath. I know I have like a nice little Shirley Temple curl going on right here, but it'll, it'll chill out. Okay, so that is layer numero uno. And then the bottom layer for me is always the hardest. I personally do my hair in three sections. I leave the top part out and the top part is the part that I just curl in the same direction. Now, I guess I do have a little bit of a, of a game plan right here, is I do the first piece on my second layer, going away from my face, and then instead of it being, you know, like the two pieces behind. Oh. I'm a bang man. Okay, we're back. Now I gotta find that piece. Um, so I curl the first piece on my second layer away from my face and then to kind of help give it, I guess, like that beachy texture. I'm not a hairdresser, y'all. Like, <laughs> um, but I curl the second one towards my face and then on this layer, I do rotate. So kind of similar to the last one, I just kind of rotate back and forth between curling towards and then away from my face. And I just feel like it just helps give it that, um, 
I don't know, like that kind of like different texture, the waves. Also, by the way, once I get to the back, I don't really care what it looks like. It's still gonna be curly, so. I have a wedding in April, so I'm gonna try not to really mess with my hair. I do have a hair appointment. Um, when is it? It's like, honestly, I think next week. I think it's next week. Um, but I have a hair appointment next week, and all I'm doing is because, uh, at the ripe age of 27 years old, I have sprouted quite a few uh, little stress gray hairs, I think. So I just want the gray covered and it's like right at my crown up here. Um, just because my hair is such a dark brown, it sticks out. So I'm gonna be covering that up. And then I have some blonde that I had. I had like the money piece blonde. You can kind of see some of this but it doesn't go back anywhere else. So I was just going to um, get a little bit of some low lights going. But aside from that, I am not touching my hair. I'm trying not to put too much heat on it and just kind of letting it chill, especially now that it's winter time. It's a good time to kind of allow it to just kind of do its thing, be chill. I also am taking sugar bear hair vitamins, so not sponsored. I really, <laughs> I don't really like, you know, like some of those like viral things, especially when it has to do with like hair growth and weight loss and stuff like that. Like I really don't uh, give into that stuff much, but for my wedding in 2020, I was like, man, I really want my hair to be longer for my wedding. I feel like a lot of people do. They want their hair to be a little bit longer for their wedding. And I probably look crazy right now. Um, but I did try it. I gave it a shot because at the time, the hairdresser I was going to, one of the girls that worked there, she promoted the crap out of it. And I was like, well, if a hairdresser's promoting it, then like maybe there's something to it. And I'm not going to sit here and say that it's like a miracle, but my hair did grow significantly faster, thicker, fuller. It felt really good, um, quicker than it would have. I started it in like April of 2019 and then I stopped taking it. Um, I don't remember exactly when, but it was like maybe like a month after the wedding. Um, but my hair was about this length. And then for my wedding, my hair was like right to here, which for me, my hair does not grow that quickly if I'm not taking like some kind of supplement to help with that hair, with that hair aid, I guess. Okay, we are on the top layer now. And this for me, is I think the part that I am the most uh, cognizant of, mindful of, whatever the word that uh, might sound better in your head that I can't think of right now. <laughs> um, but I always curl these ones away from my face. I was gonna say, like, I don't really grab, like, my sections kind of differ, but I would say, like, they're between an inch and an inch and a half sections. And I do have, like, a couple pieces that, like, I'll find that are straight that I'll, like, curl in the opposite way, but the ones that are mainly, like, on the top, like, the crown of my head, that, those are the sections that I curl away from my face. So like I have this section that was just up in that like top knot section that I was doing. So I'm gonna curl this one like towards my face. And then I do leave a little bit out at the bottom. So like we've already kind of established that right now it's gonna kind of look a little weird. However, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to recurl that. That bottom piece kind of was wonky. This one I'm leaving not as much out because that one kind of was a little weird. 
Um, I am also, when I get my hair done, I am going to have my sister, because I'm going to my sister this time. Um, and I'm going to have her go ahead and just dye the under, like those blonde pieces. Um, I'm going to have her dye them brown because I wanted like a thinner, wispier kind of bang moment. And because of the blonde, it just like looks a little bit like gappy, gappy, sparse. Why am I struggling with words today, man? I don't know. I also haven't curled my hair in what feels like two weeks. So curling my hair right now feels very odd. But Thanksgiving is in two days. So today is Tuesday and Thanksgiving is on Thursday, obviously. Um, and so what I like to do is I showered yesterday, like, I would say like early evening, late afternoon. Um, I showered and washed my hair because like I said, my hair's just been kind of like thrown back the last couple of days. And I figured that if I washed my hair yesterday and got it ready for curling, that for me personally, like I'll lose a lot of this curliness, um, even like just within the hour. But, my curls usually look best. So I'm curling my hair today, Tuesday. My curls will probably look the absolute best tomorrow night. Cause I'll just go in and I'll just like touch up just like a few spots and just like throw in some curls that I missed or something. And my hair always looks perfect on day two or day three curls. It kind of just depends on like how I sleep on my hair that night if I put it up in like a ponytail just to like help it kind of like not get all crazy because oh my god I swear when I sleep I'm like <laughs> I just hit that I just hit something on the ground but I swear when I sleep I'm like I swear I like twitch but my husband swears that like I'm pretty still when I sleep but with the way my hair freaking looks in the morning my gosh you would think that I'm like having a nightmare about drowning and I'm thrashing. But yeah, right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of like picking through the back of my hair since I can't necessarily see it. And just kind of touching up some spots that I feel like I might have missed, which I just found some and I find them all over. Um, yeah, I found actually a nice little section right here. And usually when I get down to like these really skinny pieces, even if they're kind of like all over, <laughs> I just like wrap them and then they just like do like a quick little twirly moment. I just try to find these little straight pieces and I feel like it just adds like a little oomph. Sometimes I'll pick out some pieces to kind of match like what I just did there. I feel like I'm finding kind of straight pieces that I can just kind of eyeball right now and then even if they're all kind of sporadic this is the part where it's like people are bothered what the, what the heck are you doing so some people grab like a wide tooth comb or whatever i am just going to kind of let my hair cool for a few minutes and i am going to come back and then i am going to show you kind of like how i shake out my curls i'm going to keep my curling iron on because when I let my hair cool, this is my hair type, this is just like how I do it, but sometimes I will notice more straight pieces that I missed prior. So I'm gonna let this cool for about like three to four minutes. That's what I normally do, I just walk away. And normally when I'm doing my hair, I'll like go brush my teeth for a few minutes or go, like I'll start like some of my makeup um, while I let them cool. But in this case, I can't wear makeup. I already brushed my teeth. So I am just gonna go do something real quick. I don't know what I'm gonna do, 
but I'll be back in a few minutes to show you how I kind of do the rest of my hair, how I kind of touch it up, and then how I finish it off. Okay, I'm back. I actually just went to go check my emails really quick, but all I do is I just kind of loosely take my fingers and just kind of, I don't know, like shake out the curls a little bit. I don't really run my fingers necessarily through my hair. I do it in these like front-ish pieces, but I kind of just like floof it out. And that is where I find more straight pieces like this little guy right here. And I just kind of go back in and I try to just figure out like what direction it was supposed to be curled in. Sometimes I just curl away from my face. And I keep my iron on while I step away. And then just because I don't really love how the top part of my hair curled, I'm just gonna go in and like curl a little bit higher towards my crown right now. Just get those like top pieces. And I'll leave out like quite a bit of the bottom. And then with my bang a little bit, I'm gonna curl back a little bit of my bangs. Just a, just a wee bit. Just kind of like swoop them a little bit that way, just so they flow just a touch better. Just kind of curl them a little bit, like swooping in that little motion. The texture spray that I got I have used Kristen S texture spray for quite a long time. However, I will say that I really like this one. So this is called Air and it's a very beautiful bottle. I love like the holographic on it, but it is a texture hairspray and it's infused with quartz and mica, mica. I don't know, I really like this. I got a blowout with a girl at her salon and she used this stuff and I loved how this made my hair feel. So I picked some up from my sister and I love it. So what I do for this part is I will just spray this kind of all over and then I kind of flip my hair upside down. I shake it, kind of get it like that nice messy textured kind of look. Um, and that's what I do. You do not need a lot of this at all because it does have like a little bit of hold to it. And then that's when I go through and just kind of piece everything together how I want it. But this is my hair curled with my short hair and my bangs as I go and straighten a piece down. <laughs> oh, I just play with my hair until I'm happy with where it's at. Like I said, I typically have like most of the curls kind of fall and it kind of sits more so how I want it to sit um, in about like an hour or so. But kind of Thing. <laughs> that is how I personally curl my hair. Um, it's not always the exact same every single time I do it. I just kind of do it the way that I'm feeling it that day. Um, but I will say that this texture spray, it is a professional product. It is absolutely bomb.com. Love this. Um, and then this heat protectant spray. I just wanted to get a salon quality one because the stuff that I had before, um, it just didn't really, I don't know, hit right. But see, like I just keep kind of messing with my hair and just kind of like touching it as I go. It's a little bit harder with my bangs now, but we're working on it. We're learning. I've only had my bangs for like two weeks and like I said it's been like two weeks since I've curled my hair <laughs> I think I've curled my hair once with my bangs so 
thank you for watching. I know that this has been highly requested. I unfortunately cannot do my everyday makeup routine <laughs> right now. I'm hoping that on Thanksgiving by Thursday, um, I will be able to throw on just like at least some mascara without like it itching or bothering my eye. Um, but I mean, I really don't care. I'm just gonna be with family. So I don't need to wear makeup, but I don't know, especially for holidays when we're taking lots of photos. Like it just, for me personally, just, I don't know. It's just a good feeling. But whenever I can next, I will upload a video on kind of like my everyday makeup routine that I use. I use a lot of drugstore products. I really try to keep stuff like that affordable. I do invest in my hair products. So I do use Olaplex personally. I just have found that it works so, so good for my hair because I do mess with it a lot. I'm constantly changing the colors. Um, I'm really just kind of always messing with my hair. Um, but Olaplex works amazing for me. And so for me personally, I just like to invest in my hair products. This was like 20 something dollars on Amazon. Um, curling irons, like it had really great reviews. So I was like, you know what, it'll be fine. Um, and then this little claw clip guy was from Amazon. Love this thing. Mm, I love it. And then you can literally find these wet brushes anywhere. Um, the pattern sometimes does make me a little dizzy looking at it. But anyways, I hope that you guys had fun. Maybe you guys were just sitting doing your hair too. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. And if I don't post anything before Thanksgiving, which I probably won't. I hope that everyone has a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then I hope you just have a very wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. And just a reminder to be very kind to workers and service people on Friday. It is a very hectic day. So just be kind, spread love, spread happiness. Wanted to throw that out there because it's always a crazy day, but thanks for watching guys. Bye.